Welcome to Twin River Casino in Lincoln, Rhode Island for tonight's card, Mayhem, brought to you by CES Boxing. Our first bout of the night will be a junior welterweight bout as Freddie Sanchez gets ready to take on Rafael Francis. Hello, everyone. Again. Again, a rematch. Don Coyne along with Scott Raymond. They, they fought one time before. Two with, majority decisions on your right. Very Absolutely. close. Is it, a, is it an advantage for the boxer who won the last bout or the fighter who lost the last one. Well, like we said earlier, it's one of those old boxing adages where you say, if I win the fight, I never give him the rematch. And if I lose the fight, I do everything I can to get the rematch. So if, if I'm Francis and he did take this fight on short notice, whatever it takes to get that rematch. Advantage, disadvantage on a majority decision, close fight to begin with, who knows? It's who's been the busier fighter. Have you honed your skills? What have you done in the meantime? Knowing each other and having a little of experience in there, that's always a good thing, but it works both ways. So I guess we'll see who's been improving since the last fight. All right, and they come in with mirror records. As coming into this one, Sanchez is 5-0. and oh, And on the other side, uh, Francis comes in at 0-5, oh while Sanchez is 5-0. and oh. Right now, time to head to the ring. We'll throw it to Adam Palacio for the introduction of the fight. Good evening, Twin River Casino, and welcome to another night of hard-hitting CES Boxing Entertainment. This event is sanctioned by the Rhode Island Department of Business Regulation, Division of Commercial Licensing, Racing, and Athletics. Mackie McCleary, Director. Maria D'Alessandro, Deputy Director. Christina Tobias, Chief Licensing Examiner. Your referees tonight will be Joey Lapino and Eddie Claudio. Your judges ringside will be Wayne Lima, Edward Scunzio, Don Treller, Clark San Martino, and your physicians tonight will be the Honorable Dr. Peter de Blasio and Dr. David Carpentier. This is the ALA and Sons construction bout of the evening. This fight is scheduled for four rounds in the junior welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 144 pounds, a veteran of five professional fights, hailing from Boston, Massachusetts, ladies and gentlemen, Raphael Francis. And his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 144 pounds with a perfect professional record of five wins and zero losses with four big wins by knockout. Hailing from Worcester, Massachusetts, ladies and gentlemen, Freddie Sanchez. will be the referee for this one. Freddie Sanchez comes in with that 5-0 record. His only non-knockout in those five victories was in the first match against Rafael Francis. Look, looks like we got a short elbow right there. Missed left hook, went to the elbow. You're gonna see a little bit of a sloppy fight it looks to start. It happens from time to time when you have an orthodox fighter and a southpaw work. Freddie Sanchez from Worcester. The fan favorite coming into this one with a large contingent of fans with him. And yeah, you could hear that pretty easily. <laughs> oh, yeah, they were raucous. And again, Francis just picking up this fight a couple of days ago. Is there a, a, a difficulty mentally when you don't know you're really going to fight until a couple of days before? Well, some nice straight left by Francis. Sometimes it can be if you're not sure who your opponent is. But when you've been preparing for a fight and you're in shape, the opponent can be the last thing on your mind. You just know you're ready to do it. You know how to do it. Sanchez picking up the tempo a little there. Straight left hand has been landing fairly well for Francis. Nice combination by Sanchez. That's a slip. And again, these fighters having met before, they know the styles a little bit, so you don't necessarily get that feeling out that you might get in a lot of bouts. 
I also think that, I mean, you can see right off the bat where Sanchez is the more relaxed fighter. He's kind of hanging his, his lead hand, and he seems to be a little more confident. There's a great combination body to the head. Sanchez aggressive. Definitely the aggressor in this one. Looking to get Francis up against the ropes. Been successful a couple of times doing that. And he, he, once he gets him on the ropes, he throws a nice combination, pushes off, and he's not looking to clinch or stay there. Just wants to do his business and then fade off. Good nice, uppercut. nice lean back uppercut too, sucked him into it. Looping hooks to the head, double jab, right cross landed. Francis needs to get off those ropes, he's a little bit in trouble. This time Sanchez staying on top, he heard him, not backing off this time, pounding away in the corner. Francis. Definitely a little wobbly there is. Absolutely, he wanted to stay on the ropes that time. I think that's might have been what kept him up. Stiff left hook by Sanchez. Looping lead left right there by Francis. Made a beautiful Water right again. hand connects. Clean as a whistle on Francis. Sanchez kind of jamming himself here, looking for a little separation. Straight right hand lands, takes a little bit of legs off him. Sanchez, there we go. Sanchez keeping great distance now on the ropes. Francis just barely survives that line. Those legs look like a tiny bit sapped right now, Don. Sanchez dominating that one, looking to get the knockout. Again, only one fight in his life professionally has he not had a knockout. That was against Francis. Looks like he wants to correct I that think, record. I think you're right. I think he's jumping at the bit. like this one back. Between rounds here, we're listening a little bit in the corners to see what's going on as we get ready for round number two in a four-round scheduled junior welterweight bout here. Mayhem, brought to you by CES at Twin River Casino. Important moments here for Francis in the corner. See if he comes out any different here in round number two. Well, I kind of like the idea of what his opponent did was just the basics, keep his hands up, chin down, and just kind of let him recover. Can't overwhelm him, he really didn't have his his head the game was more about recovering his body at the moment. Basics, hands up, chin down. And Sanchez does need to be careful because he was able to land a couple of shots in there. Even though Sanchez dominated that first round, Francis landed a couple. Of, if he gets off balance, he could be a dangerous opponent. Yeah, you don't want, you know, the Sanchez's still young. You don't want him to head hunt. You want him to stay clean and relaxed. Let this knockout come. Stay smooth. Francis is doing a good job of staying active right now, but Referee's calling that a slip. Sanchez carrying the action. Now, if you notice, Francis went to an orthodox fight position now. He's fighting right-handed now, not left like he started the first round. Is that a difficult thing for Sanchez to adapt to? No, I wouldn't say difficult at all. I'm quite sure he's done it a million times, but it's a telltale, telltale sign that fighting southpaw wasn't working. If that was some kind of um, strategy on Francis's part. Big right hand, puts Francis right on his tush very quickly. Nice job by Sanchez, he just landed that clean, straight right hand. And you can see Francis acknowledging the shot by Sanchez, kinda able to get right up, but he said, nice shot. But kinda hard not to. Now Sanchez needs to just breathe a little bit. Don't jam his punches, keep the distance. Let these punches accumulate. Still plenty of time in the round. Stay patient. Tough for a young fighter, but stay patient. Work that jab to set that right hand up again. Sanchez, 27 years. There it is! Beautifully done. Referee calls the fight. Sanchez did a great job. He hung back, left his distance, set up a short left hand, nice and light. Big right hand left hook. Great job. Dominating effort by Freddie Sanchez, who ups his professional record to 6 and 0. Now with five KOs, having knocked out every opponent he's faced. 
as he gets a revenge for the majority decision against Francis earlier. Francis falls to 0-6 on his professional career. I hand it to Francis, though. He did come to fight. He did back up. Absolutely correct. He was in shape. He came to fight, and, and he wasn't going down easy. He was put on his back more than once, and he came right back up. Tough, tough kid. But Sanchez, as you can see, just a different class of fighter at the moment. On the way up, patient. Very patient after that knockdown. He did get energized. He definitely wanted to try to close it sooner. When he realized that that wasn't working, he backed off, got patient. Put his, put his punches together and finish the night correctly. Great job. The boxing pride of Worcester, as you can see they, in his corner, have a sign up there saying Worcester, and a lot of fans making the trek down 146 from Worcester to see uh, <laughs> one of their one of their happy sons. And he had the patience, Fantastic. he had him hurt, but sometimes a young fighter will rush in and try to, to, to oh, take yeah. him out right then, and the fight can turn on a dime. He used patience, he knew he was in control. You can get careless when you get over it. Uh, ladies and up. gentlemen, your winner by TKO and round Number two, Freddy Sanchez! It's a great way to kick off Mayhem here, brought to you by CES at Twin River Casino. First bout of the night in the books. More to come right here, brought to you by CES.